and today I am going to be reviewing the long awaited Metallic Armour Black Ranger figure. This is season two slash season three Adam Adam Park. The Black Ranger, not Walter Jones. Um, so anyway. Here's the box. Um, I love the texture of this box. It's all metallic. <coughs> you can see the figure on the in the front. Um, and again, I love the glittery look of him. Um, and I wish back in the day when Bandai owned the license we got these figures and we never did. Um, so yeah, this is the box. I'll show you the, uh, the box now, but before I show you the sides and the back, I'm going to show you the top because it's all glittery and it also has a nice texture. So, this is one side of the box, which actually has the Mighty Morphin logo. Um, and also, the side of the boxes are textured as well. And this is the other side of the box, which again is the other side of the helmet, and it's also textured. Um, and this is the finger on the back of the box, which again looks absolutely amazing. The artwork on this box from Tom Whelan is absolutely amazing. Now, the one thing I miss about when man I had the license is on the back of Paradise Boxes is they told you what was coming up next on the next um, products of Power Rangers or the next toys of Power Rangers whereas on Hasbro's boxes they don't do that I wish they would um, but unfortunately they don't so anyway let's get the figure out of the box shall we so, I've got him out of the box, and I'm going to show you his accessories first. Now, one of these accessories is a new accessory, which I will show you in a second. But the first accessory I'm going to show you is Adam Parks slash Johnny Youngbosch's civilian head. Or as I so, this is the Adam Park civilian head which I think looks exactly like Johnny Young Bosch and this isn't actually the only Adam Park head I got <coughs> I have the uh, Zoo Ranger 4 green uh, Ranger lightning fashion figure and you get Adam Park's civilian head slash <coughs> severed head with that. And so I actually have two of these and they both look absolutely perfect. Both look the same actually. So anyway, on to the next accessory, <coughs> which is <coughs> the Zero Crystal the Zero Range 4 Green Zero Crystal now something I quickly want to add in about this this when you see this in the box it does look as though they've accidentally put this in or it's broken off part of the figure but they haven't. It's the Zero Crystal, 
which you get one with all the metallic ranges actually um, metallic armor ranges um, and also this also glows in the dark well actually they all glow in the dark which I think is fantastic um, so no this hasn't broken off the figure or Hasbro hasn't put it in by the snake by the snake it's supposed to be in there so oh yeah and there isn't a Tommy Metallic Armour Green uh, White Ranger yet <coughs> I'm hoping there will be but so far there isn't I really hope Hasbro do do one though because you, so far you've got all the Metallic Armour team, apart from the White Ranger, which is a bit disappointing. So, yes, I do hope Hasbro do one, and Hasbro please do one. Um, and I think also, I don't know this for definite, this is just what I'm thinking and also Bruno thinks this as well is when and if they do bring out one or should I say when because I know they will um, Bruno and me reckon they'll bring out a fully assembled Zero Crystal that will glow in the dark now quick question or oh, quick thing I want to tell you is not a question um, you can glue these together with a glue gun because things I love about the hot glue guns is nothing is permanent it can unpeel which is one of the things I love about the glue guns anyway on to the next accessory which is the effects piece that goes into the power blaster, into the power axe, uh, which I believe we've had this effect before, but it's been a slightly different color. Now, I'm gonna show you something that's quite funny. Um, I hold it like this. But this actually looks like a pumpkin if you're holding it like this because of the effect. And you see this little knobbly bit that goes into the end of the power axe to look like it's <coughs> firing. <coughs> anyway, the next accessory is the power axe um, which you got with, with all the black rangers so it's basically the exact same thing which is annoying you get the exact same thing but with the MMPR black rangers you are going to except maybe the evil ones because there were evil ones of this and some of these ranges at some point now the detail on this looks absolutely fantastic um absolutely amazing as usual with Hasbro now these Mastodon power coins or man Mammoth power coins as it's known in Duranger should be have black have a black background and a wash of gold. Unfortunately they haven't done that on this. So I may do that. I haven't decided yet, but I may do that. And you can also use this one to form the power blaster which 
again is I'm saying right that you can use this to form a power blaster. Anyway, on to the next accessory. Now, again, you get this one, if I can hold it. I hate holding these small things. <coughs> um, which this is the Blade Blaster, which is exactly the same as all the others. <coughs> now, the one thing I wish they would do is give you the folded down one as well as this one, and the one with the blade out, so it's in blade mode. So, anyway, on to the hands, which I think these are the weapon holding hands. I may be wrong on that, but I think they are. And these are per lesson. <laughs> which is again great um, looks phenomenal um, more phenomenal that is I don't know what it is but every time I do a Ranger review I have to say it I cannot help myself um, so yeah that's the first weapon hand, well, well, I think it's a weapon hand. And the second one is this one, which again is pearlescent, um, which looks fantastic. Um, and I'm going to pick up the figure a second. Because the figure also has hands on him um, on both sides, as usual. So yeah, that's the accessory. Accessory to that one to the main figure, which he looks fantastic, really glittery. Um, the helmet is also really glittery. Um, looks fantastic. The holster's per lesson. Hang on, I lift his arm up so you can see it. A bit easier. So that's the holster and that's per lesson. Well, his whole entire belt is actually. The only thing that isn't is the morpher. So, yeah, even his boots are per lesson. The body's got glitter in it, which I believe is different colours. I don't think it's just silver. Um, all the articulation is exactly the same. No difference at all. Um, one quick thing I'm going to add before I end is <coughs> warm up when you want to change his head over warm up the head joints and maybe even the helmets because they pop off a lot easier once they're warmed up a hell of a lot easier same with the hands um, they pop off a lot easier when they're warmed up um, and the civilian heads go on a lot easier when you warm them up too now whatever you do do not warm them up too much to the point where you will melt them <coughs> because you'll be absolutely gutted and one other thing I will show you and tell you about it, well actually there's two other things you see it has holes in his feet which 
the sounds I have, I that should have in the environment the holes in their feet don't seem to work on mine. Now, I know Bruno says they don't work on some of his, but so far on mine, they've not worked on any of mine. Um, so I don't know what's going on there. If anyone's got any advice on what I can do, other than doctor it, which I don't really want to, but if I have to, I will. Um, let me know. Um, also, everything on this is quite stiff. Um, so please be careful of that. Because you m might break it if you're not too careful. <coughs> and a quick thing I'm going to add, which isn't about my morphine, but it's something I found out. It looks like they are carrying on with the Wild Force figure line because the next one we've got is the Blue Ranger from Wild Force, um, which looks absolutely amazing. Now, I've only seen the picture that has broke up of it. I've not seen it in person. It has everything it should have. But anyway, that's the end of this review. I kind of went off subject of the metallic armor ranger there, but it's just something I wanted to let you guys know. And that's the end of this review. Thanks for watching.